This is one of Tin Man Power's cool jewel circuits. Uh, see his channel for the circuit itself and Lidmoke's channel for the circuit diagram drawn out. This one's a bit different. I'm using just one battery instead of two. And you do that by connecting the output of the LED back to the positive rail. And that means you can just use one battery. I've also got a 100 UF capacitor across the power rails. And I've got this little circuit here which is one of uh, Lib Motors penny types, an old one now, and that's got a 100k resistor going to that. And the connections are from the base through a diode to the negative and through the 100k resistor to the positive. So we'll start it up, turn this round to the 500 microamp scale, touch the two pins, there we are. So the circuit comes on, that, that shows anyway that it will run from the uh, one battery. We've got 300 microamps it's using, but you can see the both circuits are going. This one's going at the bottom, and this one's going by producing the quite nice light really uh, from their LED at the top. Now why this is interesting, and what got me thinking, was that as you can see we're using the 300 microamps and what I was doing, I was using pieces of tin foil and the rest to change the um, readings of the microamps and if I hit one of these just right that light will go out but as you can see that that is an increase of power draw we've got a dig decrease on this one if I tap this just right and I'm not quite sure how I do it I can get the light to go off, there we are, in other words the circuit now isn't running. We've got absolutely zero on the microamps as you can see. But this is still going. This little oscillator circuit. Now you can imagine the 100 UF that's on board will keep it going for a little while. But um, I'll leave it running like this for a while and you can see that that is not going to stop. Like I say, you can see we've got a zero microamp draw. This is off, but the base connection from the transistor is coming out to this little oscillator which carries on running at, um, at zero microamps. Now we are, I think we've left it running long enough to show that uh, it's certainly nothing to do with that capacitor. Uh, this is the whole circuit, there's no battery hidden or anything daft like that and you saw it was switched off when before we started the circuit up but there we are, it's still running now if I start up this circuit again what we should see is what we had before which is about 300 microamp draw and the light to be on quite well so I'll use this piece of aluminium wire again touch the transistor light comes on 300 microamps and of course the light there is still going so um, how's it getting its power then? that's the question just thought I'd show it again because uh, I don't know whether the multimeter was in shot before but if I touch I think it's this one with the aluminium wire just the, I don't know whether it's the right time, the right place the right amount you can see the, the current draw in any case goes down to 100 microamps when I do touch that leg there but somewhere, there we go, that did it, that one did it on the, the other one the light's gone out the draw is right down to zero you'd think the circuit is completely switched off and it should be but the little light carries on at this oscillator It ran for 10 minutes earlier, so it's not the energy out of this cap, and it's not the energy out of that one. So if someone can replicate or give some ideas, that would be great. Okay then, thanks for watching.